guys, this is Casey Stein, and I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how to log into our new virtual training platform called Nearpod. So just some quick things about Nearpod. Nearpod can be accessed from smartphones, tablets, computers. It is Mac, Windows, uh, Chromebook friendly. So it's a super, super easy site to use in regards to compatibility. It is entirely self-paced training. So each training will have an allotted time that will be specifically stated at the beginning of the training. So the students can take as long as they want to to complete a training, but it will not exceed the total allotted paid time. And we're watching those times, guys. If we have to adjust them, um, you know, due to different pacing or things like that, they will be adjusted, but we're kind of approximating based on how long it's taken us as well as a couple guinea pigs to go through the training. So to get started, we're going to log into Nearpod. So we're going to go to www.nearpod.com. And it's going to take you to a page that looks like this. So when we launch a new training, guys, or if we make edits to a training, there's going to be an access code that's sent out to you guys. Now, when we have a training that is already in place and already has an access code, if we make edits to that training, it generates a new access code. So what's gonna happen with that is if I do make edits to a training on Monday of the following week, you guys will get a new list of the training type, the code, um, and the date that it was modified, okay? So it'll make it super, super easy to get your um, employees signed up because you don't need me. All you need to do is provide them with the access code and then they can jump in. So for this week, guys, we are launching our first training. It is our cashier training, and the code is capital F-J-C-O-E. And you're going to go ahead and put that in this little box right up here. Then you're going to click the blue tab. Do, 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 do. So what that's going to do is take you to the login page. Okay, normally there's nothing here. I'll show you what this looks like. It's because I've logged in so many times. And it'll say name, nickname, and other optional. Okay, so what employees are going to do is you're going to put your first and your last name. And then in the other, it is not optional, you're going to put your unit. So I'm just going to put HR. And then you're going to click join the session. And voila, you guys are into the training. So the training can be navigated using the blue buttons with the arrows here on the right and on the left. For obviously it's the first slide, so you're only gonna go to the right. Each of the, each of the slides in the training, for the most part, has audio. So audio can be accessed on the bottom left-hand corner by pressing the little play tab. So it makes it super, super easy to do audio. Um, audio is recorded per slide. So if you do need to stop and leave and then come back, you don't have to like find your place or anything. You can just start from that slide. There is interactive material integrated into the presentation. So for example, we're gonna find our little matching um, activity, which is the first activity. Oh, I passed it. Okay, so this is our first matching activity. Um, so it'll say mini quiz time. Please match each of the questions or statements with its correct pair. Each of the things has, each of the activities has instructions. So we'll say, uh, personal bags of any kind may not be brought into the South cash room, okay? For example, each of the training activities is graded automatically and I can see those reports. So when the reports come through, they show your name, your unit, and your score. So if the students or employees do not choose to participate in each of the activities, they don't finish the training, okay? The activities must be completed for them to get a good, for them to get a passing completion grade for that training. Otherwise, it's super, super easy. All you do is go through the training. At the end, there's a post-training quiz. It's all multiple choice. Um, it doesn't have a timer on it. And once everything's completed, their training is good. I'll see that it's been completed in the system and they are good to go. I hope this helps you guys with logging in. And please let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or if you guys find anything that you think needs to be adjusted in the Nearpod system. Otherwise, have a great day and thanks for listening.